we have seen some uh, headlines suggesting that uh, those leaders who have uh, abandoned uh, the deputy president seem to be uh, treated as if they are the people of Nyeri. Yeah, they are people of Nyeri, but they are not the citizenry of Nyeri. And it is important to say that the more they push the deputy president away, the closer he comes to our hearts, and the more we love him more and more. So they can continue with their efforts, pushing him aside, but we have a few things to remind them. When the president was uh, during his swearing in, I do remember him holding a Bible in his, I think, left hand, and he vowed to protect the Constitution of Kenya. The Constitution of Kenya has established the office of the Deputy President, who is voted in by Kenyans. And we have the Deputy President in the person of His Excellency Regarde Gashagua, who was voted in on the 9th of August, and went all through the processes to be uh, declared a winner for the position of Deputy President. We are requesting the president to allow the deputy president to be and to do what he was elected to do. I will also maybe wish with a lot of humility and respect address my president, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and tell him, Mr. President, there are men and women around you who you could be calling advisors, but you are in the hole you are today because of the misadvice they have given you. And a wise man wakes up one morning, has a retrospection in himself, sees the way things are. It does not matter who is close to you. In politics, it is your skin that matters, and this is a nation whose hands and survival, are, I mean, whose existence and survival are in your hands. It is important for you now to take action, the best action that you think should be taken, call in your deputy, sit together, get in your cabinet, do everything that you can, bring in all your advisors and ask yourself, uh, is this country moving in the right direction? If you are convinced it is moving in the right direction, Mr. President, then let's move on the way you are moving. But if you are convinced there is a reason to change, I humbly request you, as a man of God, to relook at the way this country is going, refocus. You made so many promises, they will not be achieved in this kind of atmosphere. The Gen Z's have made demands. You engaged with them, they told you what they wanted. None of their demands was for you to put up 150 team to negotiate I don't know what. They have clearly told you, we do not want you to do this, they want you to do this. It is that simple. If they say that you reorganize your cabinet, kindly do. If they say you suck it, do it. There are 50 million Kenyans who can fit in those offices. But if you continue that kind of talk, that kind of push, that you know, kind of moving away from reality, it will hit us hard, and as a country, we will lose it all. You have a golden opportunity. This is a defining moment, Mr. President. Kindly think about this nation and do the very best you can. Thank you very much. Na hile kitu mi naulisa, na nimesema mara mingi, ni unyenye kefu. Tunyenye ke, sisi yote, tunyenye ke kwa wale wadogo wetu, tunyenye ke kwa wakumbuwa yetu, tunyenye ke kwa mungu wetu, na mambo yetu yote itakuwa mzuri. Kama patron, naulisa mtu yote aashe kutukana yule mwingine. Ile kitu sisi tunaomba ni peace, usarama, watu wapendane. Mukikuyu wote kutoka wapi, kutoka wapi, kutoka wapi. Mukenya wote kutoka ngamboi kweda kwa ngamboi ile igine. Sisi yote tupedane. Tuonge kwa ruga monja ya kupendana. Tuonge kwa ruga monja ya kusaidiana. Tuonge kwa ruga monja ya kujadiri masirahi ya mutu yule mwingine.